everyone and I uh, hope everyone uh, is well and uh, you're enjoying the new year and again I'd like to say thank you to all the old and new subscribers uh, to the channel. Um, yeah, the channel has grown quite uh, rapidly recently so um, I'd like to welcome you all uh, on board and hopefully you all enjoy uh, what you see here. A um, couple of things, so first of all um, I don't know if you remember I mentioned um, there's like a wood turning um, kind of show, trade show and an and event that we hold here in the UK. Um, it is uh, UKIS, which is the sticker up there and I'll put the link below for you uh, in the description. Um, that is being held, it doesn't say on there, but I think it's being held in July this year. Uh, and I'll be attending that uh, probably both days. So uh, if any of you are in the UK, uh, then uh, pop on over there if you're interested in, in uh, you know, wood turning and if something that you think you want to get into or you are a wood turner and you didn't know about it, head on over there. So there's going to be loads of people there. It's going to be a really fantastic weekend um, and um, I think you'll enjoy it. So plus you get to meet a few uh, people that you probably recognise uh, on YouTube, including me. Um, also, as an added bonus, I didn't actually realise this, but there is another wood turning uh, show in the States. Yes, I will be heading on out to the US. So uh, that is in June, uh, and I will let you know the dates that I'm coming over to that show. I think it runs all week. I think it starts on the 22nd of June and runs to around 28th, 29th, something like that. So, um, and I can't remember now where it is. Where was it? Where was it? Where was it? Don't know, but it's in the link below. Check that out as well. Uh, I'm gonna get myself over there as well and hopefully I'll meet some of our you wood turners. And uh, again, uh, if there's anyone out there that's um, thinking of wood turning uh, in the States and it's not that far away from you, this, this place, then pop on over there. As I say, uh, I'll let you know the days that I'm going to go. I'm only going to go for a couple of days uh, and it does run all week. So I think that might be quite uh, interesting. Really excited to get over there and and, uh, and see that show. Um, didn't even know it existed until today. So for today, um, what I'm going to do is, does everyone remember this? This is what the first, one of the first blanks that I did um, um, a few weeks back now. Um, I've got this one, and I've also got this one yet to turn. But I thought today I'll do this little one. It's only small, but I thought we could make a nice little pot out of this. It's got loads of colours in it, and this was done, uh, if you haven't seen it, to all my new uh, subscribers, if you haven't seen it, you have to go back a, a few videos back, and you'll see when I turn this one. Uh, and this was done with using a bit of a weaker mixture of the resin and colours. So this should come out kind of a little bit sort of translucent -y. I um, think it should look pretty cool. So I'm going to get this on the lathe. It's got some blues in it, some greens and things. Uh, a bit northern lighty again. Um, but uh, we'll have to think of a different name for this one. So let's get this on the lathe and let's see what we can make out of this one. Another thing that you might notice as well today um, is that I do have a new lathe. Let me show you that just quickly. It's the new Record Power CL, CL series. So it's the CL4, it's the new version. It is pretty similar to my old one uh, from Record Power. But um, yeah, it's um, this one doesn't need topping up with oil, whereas my other one needed topping up with oil all the time. This one has got some different bearings in it, so you don't need that. Um, and uh, yeah, I thought I kind of deserved a little upgrade, so um, there we go. So now I'm just taking the step center out and that's what this is called um, because what I'm going to do is I've just put a tenon on here um, and that allows me now to put this in the chuck which is going to be a lot more, uh, well it's going to be much more safer in here. So I pop that in there, I can tighten this right up now.
so that's quite nice and snug you can fit, see it runs quite nice there and I can move this away now as well if I want to but if you if you don't want to you can bring this up still for safety if you uh, you know kind of feel like you want to so um, turning these resin um, projects they make an absolute mess everywhere so right so now we're going to just turn this round and <coughs> make this into a small box this really is going to be quite small this is guys <laughs> Right, so it's coming on. Oh, excuse the air. It's getting a bit crazy, isn't it? Um, I'm growing my hair. Well, yeah, I'm kind of growing my hair, but I just had the sides cut. Um, I was going for the really big kind of like loads of hair, and I'm currently growing my beard as well. I want to. I want to grow it all the way down here. It's a bit like a kind of a biker. Um, I thought I'd just tell you that anyway. Anyway, um, this pot, so I know you're kind of thinking, oh, it looks kind of similar to, um, you know, the other pots that I've made. Yeah, it kind of does, but I wanted to show you um, this blank that we made. We made this blank together. You've seen me make it, and I, want, I wanted to show you what it's going to turn out like. So I hope it's not too boring for you, um, and I apologise if it is, but I just um, wanted to try and get this turn and show you, uh, I'm I'm kind of intrigued what it's going to look like just as well uh, as just as much as you guys are. So this is what it looks like so far. I'll show you. I've cut a little uh, hole here, and um, uh, well, a little groove, should I say? This is kind of marking the sort of like the end of, of my pot and where that's going to when it's going to finish. And then I'm going to do this another one of these lids again because the the pot is very small, and if I take the lid off, um, which we, we which you've seen me do before take the lid off, reverse it and do it that way, you know, we're going to end up with a very, very tiny pot and it's pretty small as it is. So um, I'm going to do another one of these. I'm not sure how to do the uh, top at the moment, but I'll think about that in a minute. But I think that we can see there is going to be some really nice colour in here when I get this shined up. Um, so I'm going to carry on. I'm going to drill a hole in here now, ready for the, put like the little knob in the top here um, and then we the, once then I'll finish the lid off and then we'll take this off and then we'll start concentrating on the base if there is one thing that I can <clears throat> kind of advice I can give you guys that are learning to turn and or thinking about turning um, is just really got to be kind of patient with it you got to take things slow you got to um, turn slow you know don't be aggressive with it don't put a lot of pressure or force when you're turning especially with these resin pro pro projects projects um i've kind of noticed and learned really that you've got to be really really gentle when you're pushing against it because you know you push too hard and the whole thing you know i've had them just break just go just kind of explode um so just really gentle movements um and you know up up and down just be really careful and just be really slow just take just take your time with it um that's kind of my advice i mean i'm a fairly new turner as it is um what a year and a half now or so is it a year and a half or two years no i don't know it must be coming up to two years i suppose but still relatively new i mean there's turners out there have been doing this or well, you know all their life um so i'm still learning very much so on, on everything that i do but um and I'm making loads of mistakes, but that's what you do. You know, you make mistakes, but then you don't do it next time, hopefully. Um, but, um, yeah, that that's kind of one definitely, I think, sound bit of advice, I would hope. Uh, that, you know, you just, just take your time, be patient, take smooth cuts, 
um, light cuts you know don't be aggressive with it and just be really nice and smooth so there you go a little bit of a, a heads up for the new turners right let's get cracking with it <laughs> Right, so I'm just putting some of this uh, Shella Wax, Sheila Wax, uh, friction polish on. It's like a cream, this one. So I uh, haven't used this a lot, but um, I've heard it's pretty good. So uh, I'm going to put this all over the lid. Um, I've already put the Yorkshire grit on. That's already done. Sanded back to 400 grit on this one. Um, and then this is the first coat of the uh, cream. It's quite nice. That's, that's kind of more northern lighty as well, isn't it? Really, like it's almost like the other pot. Maybe we should just call this like the the baby northern light pot because it's a bit smaller. Um, I reckon this will will look quite nice actually. So let's get this. Um, well, I just need to find out what I'm going to put in here first. Well, I'm just going to pop this out of the chuck. But before I do that. I'm just going to mark up on the chuck here, just roughly where, and then I'll put a little mark on the on the uh, pot, so I know exactly where it goes back. Now, you know, some might say, well, you know, it should go back in fine, but it's just, just, just a bit more of like, you know, better that that's going to go exactly back where it was, you know. And sometimes I've found that if you put it, when you try and put it back in, it's a bit wobblier and you know, it doesn't quite. Um, fit in there properly so that's that's quite handy just to mark that up there we go see the how that's going to look so you can kind of get an idea of how this is going to turn out already right so i'm going to make a little um lid a little knob for this something that's just going to sit in um, and we glue that into to the top there right so i've got another pen blank up uh, in the chuck to turn the little finial that i need for this lid <laughs> seem to stop working then so that was brilliant not too sure why um, so anyway so I've made this little finial um, although it's not very little um, well it is little but it's a lot longer um, than my normal ones um, but I don't know I'm not too sure what it will look like yet until we get it on there I've gone with this one this time I do think I prefer the black African black wood or ebony on these types of projects um, but I kind of wanted to mix it up a little bit for you guys just so you can see something a little bit different so um, and also that's why I've gone a little bit longer as well just to make it um, again a little bit different so you can see that being made um, this is quite sort of intricate really You've got to be quite careful I started off using the carbide cutter with it uh, so I started off using using this uh, just to kind of get down some of the bulk and then sort of finished uh, using uh, one of these gouges um, and that's quite good to sort of get in you know into here and quite you know need to need to get in quite uh, these little gaps um, so sorry you didn't see that I uh, apologize the camera just seemed to stop recording so I'm just going to um, sort of finish this off um, I've used the uh, this gauge here to uh, work out um, that um, so I've just marked this in here put that in there and marked out how uh, wide that is which has then given me the right depth um, the right size on on here and then I've uh, just made that to fit perfectly so that should now we're using this tool should just drop straight in there um, although I might make this a little bit deeper just a little bit Put the base back in. That should run true. Yeah. Let's drill this hole out a little bit more. Not much, but just a little bit. Yeah, just fit right in there. There we go. 
So um, that just needs to be glued in now. So now we're going to uh, we're going to open up this uh, centre and get rid of the bulk that's inside here to make the uh, this lid uh, fit. Um, so there it is with the uh, little finu on it. So I'm not too sure whether we're going to use this one yet or not. We'll see at the end and see what it looks like. I might make another one and then make a decision at the end. So here it is, viewers, uh, the finished pot. Um, I'm not too sure about the finial, the size and also the colour. What do you think? I don't know. Um, I wanted to do it because it was slightly different than the black finials that I made and the last sort of three uh, resin pots so um, I know it might not be to everyone's liking um, maybe I should have kept it just without that top bit there so it's just like just like that but I don't know it's different isn't it I suppose I put the black um, NZ <coughs> wood turning on the bottom this one yeah it's finished up okay I mean you can see see right through it can't you see see that's quite cool I don't know if you can see that quite well but it's got some fantastic colors in it and it's came it's come out you know fairly fairly well to be fair there's lots of blues whites in there yellows some reds oranges um, yeah I quite like it actually I, I I quite enjoyed doing it um, just kind of just to see what it was going to come out like so um, yeah just not too sure about the finial so um, <laughs> you decide tell me what your thoughts are on it um, but I'll get this up on the website somewhere next week as well with some other pots and bits and pieces that I've been making I've been pretty busy in the shop making some bowls and things, um, some pencil projects that I've been up to because of the um, demand for, for some of those types of projects, which is fantastic. Thanks very much for all of you that want to purchase one. I'm really grateful. Um, but please bear in mind, I'm only one man. Um, I'm not a business. I'm not a, I don't have a production line or anything like that. These are fairly bespoke, unique pieces, really. Um, and um, I don't want to mass produce them to be fair um, I want them to be fairly exclusive if, if, uh, if that's the right word um, they do take quite some time to make and uh, again because I'm kind of a perfectionist I like to get it right and when there's errors and things I start again so <laughs> um, but that uh, means more time and um, which I don't have a lot of to be fair uh, so uh, thanks very much for watching this um, hope you like the little pot it's kind of like a little ring jewelry box I suppose you could fit a few rings in there or something the lid fits fairly well um, and that's it really for today's uh, turning video I um, hope you enjoyed it and uh, thanks very much for watching as always thanks to all my new and old subscribers um, I'm really chuffed how the channel is growing and I do hope that we can grow 
bigger and bigger and we really get um, you know a great audience um, watching me make some of these um, pieces um, <coughs> I've got a few things going on in the shop uh, lots of different interesting projects coming up which I think you'll like uh, and again um, because it looks like there's a few of you that want to purchase some of my pieces I will you know put those pieces up on the website and, and I'll kind of uh, as and when so keep an eye on the website guys um, but um, yeah what else was I going to say is that it yeah I think that's it I mentioned the other day about my uh, Knight Rider car I don't know if you uh, saw that in one of my uh, vlogs I cheek, sort of cheekily kind of slide that one in there check out my other channel if you want to uh, and you'll see it on there well actually you won't see it on there because it's not on there yet I haven't made it yet but I will be making a uh, a vlog around based around the kit car if you wanted to have a look at that uh, for those of you that are interested so links below and uh, yeah check it out so um, other than that I'll still see you next time for another uh, video cheers take care